How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Santa Go 39 and for today's video I just want to talk about this year's Call of Duty and everything. So I feel like Call of Duty should take this year and just finally break the cycle just like in Call of Duty Zombies break the cycle and actually now release one this year. I talked about how before that Call of Duty shouldn't be like a every year thing because like it's just keep moving forward and it's just like there are some great call of duties that you know that should you know last a little bit longer instead of you know all right you got one year to enjoy this game and you got another one if you're not forced to play the next one but it's just like quickly people are just interested in, into the new entry and there's nothing wrong with that but it's just like when you give a game a year of its life cycle and then just have people move on to the next it's just like unfair when the call when this when when that call of duty just shows like so much love and support from the development team so <coughs> sorry about that but um yeah so the rumors about vanguard coming and everything you know i don't i kind of don't i if if it is going to be like a world war ii game i don't think i'm going to play it and I, it's just like with multiplayer and everything. Multiplayer, I mean, it could be fantastic, but I feel like I've been playing great multiplayers recently. I feel like Modern Warfare is like the best with gun gunplay and with um graphics wise. And I think Cold War is okay with multiplayer in its own way. I feel like it's really good. You know, it it gives me so much to so much to play, and I can't wait for standoff. With a good map from Black Ops 2. And I recently been playing Black Ops 4's multiplayer. Because like. I, I just got curious. I forgot I had the disc in my Xbox. So I'm like you know what fuck it let's hold it in. And I had a really great time last night. Playing with my friend Eagle. um With the multiplayer. I was popping off. But some games we were doing kind of shit. So it's just not surprising to me. But like I enjoy that game. So much. And it's because. um Like. I didn't enjoy the specials too, too much, and that's what literally like turned me off. But I decided to give it a try to actually, you know, experience experience like you know the weapons and everything, and it's actually really fun. I just don't like the specialists, and I've been trying to get to play into bare bone maps with some people. Like I, I would almost literally wait for an hour. No one would join a bare bones map with no specialists. But yeah, I'm not I'm I'm not doubting that Cold War is gonna bring back those same maps, so it's just like a matter of time and everything. And um sorry for going off topic. But yeah, this year's um Vanguard, we have some rumors and leakers. Um the gaming revolution talked about it, the Ink Slasher talked about it from you know different um leakers and everything saying that the game is like in a like a rough shape or something, and you know, people are like theorizing what they're gonna do this year and like usually Activision don't go back on their word when they say they're gonna release another Call of Duty this year. But you know, I would be the whole community will be so surprised if Activision was like, you know what, this game is really in a bad shape. So you know what? Let's just like dial it back dial it back. But you know, it's kind of a shame because this year was gonna be Sledgehammer's game, but you know, like Sledgehammer and I think it was like Ravensoft has some few disagreements and they were like, you know what, Treyarch, take over this year again. But you know, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just a shame. So I can't wait to see what, what Sledgehammer's game, Sledgehammer's Call of Duty will be soon. I don't want it to be this year. I kind of don't mind waiting for another year or two because like, you know, some people are enjoying Cold War right now. And it's just like, man, like have, have people like enjoy like another year or two just playing Cold War and then, you know, introduce another Call of Duty. You know, I don't really mind that. I, I sure as hell you guys don't mind that either. Like some people are actually enjoying Cold War, which is a really good thing. And it's a shame to, you know, take away that audience and to just, you know, take them away who enjoys Cold War now playing on a new Call of Duty. And in my opinion... You know, I've been saying I I've been saying this for a while. At least I think I have. But uh, I feel like Call of Duty should not be an every year cycle, and they should have at least another year or two into their you know life cycle. Especially when it's a Modern Warfare and the Treyarch game, they could use so many assets from their previous entries. So it's like content; it won't be lacking that much, in my opinion. But yeah, 
in my opinion. Um, if they do cancel it, I'm my theory is they're either going to continue on with Cold War and Modern Warfare content, you know, balance the both. I don't know if they're going to, like, do another battle pass for Modern Warfare or Cold War. It could be one of the two because we still haven't had Soap yet into the story. I'm really excited for Soap because he's really the main character from the three entries and then rest in peace for him from dying in Modern Warfare 3. But, yeah, I, re I really do, like, from the storyline, man, I... Or for a bundle of him, man. I really want him to come out. Because I'm pretty sure everybody will lose their shit when the operator comes out. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure they're either going to, like, give out, release more content from 20, Modern Warfare 2019 and Cold War. Battle Pass is debatable. It could be either Modern Warfare's or Cold War. It doesn't matter. Or they could release Modern Warfare 2's remastered multiplayer. And it's kind of messed up because you you're releasing one third of a of a game and you know some people like me bought it and actually played it and you know enjoyed the campaign or the remaster looks really nice and everything but it's a shame that you know we can't play spec ops man like you don't even need to bring multiplayer bring spec ops like people can try to go for world records to see how fast they, they can complete it man but you know that's a shame that it's not back it's just only campaign no multiplayer so people are saying like release the multiplayer man like you know I don't necessarily mind that at all because it's there, okay? It doesn't matter if it's an Affinity War game. It's there, and I'm pretty sure, like, all the OGs will hop on that bitch in a second. I don't really care about the new generation of Call of Duty because they, they should know how, you know, Call of Duty used to be back before, like... Back before when I started to play, what was it, Call of Duty Ghost? Like, that was my first Call of Duty, so, like, yeah, but, um, that's, that's pretty, that's, that's what I think. I don't think they should release a new Call of Duty. They should continue on from their two major hits ones right now, which is Modern Warfare 2019 and Cold War, and bring out Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer. So, I think from like I'm pretty sure they're gonna they're gonna have more set a lot of a lot of sales if they you know release the multiplayer to the people who already bought it and then you know the full game to people who haven't bought it so I'm pretty sure people are gonna enjoy it okay I don't think they should not release any new Call of Duty they could do is just bring content more to Modern Warfare and Cold War and they could release Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer. I don't really give a shit about what Activision thinks about splitting the fan base. Dude, you did, like, you know, Modern Warfare and Cold War are doing well right now. So I don't see if there's going to be another group of Call of Duty players that are going to play Modern Warfare 2's remastered. Like, hell, you're already doing that with Warzone, man. That's literally, you're, you're literally dividing your Call of Duty. So, you know, it's not much of a stretch if you just add another multiplayer from a different game and, you know, people will play that. I will literally play that. Like, I enjoyed playing it back back a couple of months ago when I made a review about it and it was really fun for me because, you know, there was so much to do and it was like, the gunplay felt really nice to me. Even though it's played so weird back in the days of Modern Warfare 2. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the community can get behind me and every other YouTuber and to agree that this year should be canceled. Because if they release it, it's going to be, what was it, like a Black Ops 4 fiasco? Like blue screens, glitches, like busted fucking busting all the systems, dude. I will be upset. If that happens to people, man, because I'm pretty sure I'm not I'm not buying it if it releases because you you can't you can't give a studio one year to to make a Call of Duty game. It's in a three year life cycle, Activision. You like look, I feel like in my opinion, they fucked up a little bit. Okay? They should have not took an out okay i feel like okay the problem did resolve but it's just like you can't give a studio owner year to make a new call of duty it's just not gonna happen in my opinion i don't think they have enough time has to be delayed bring more content bring one over to remastered and there you go that's all let me know what you guys think down below in the comment sections if not that's how you go with me but anyways ladies and gentlemen my name is cindigo c39 and i hope you all have a wonderful morning that day evening whatever the occasion is and i'll see you all lovely ladies and gentlemen in the next one later